I found a second phone that my husband used to cheat on me with, and now he is panicking. I'm using a throwaway for this. I found the phone three months ago. The way I found out he was cheating was by accident. I had recently gotten a new phone because I dropped my old one, and the screen cracked so badly that I couldn't even use it at all. It was hard to get all my contacts, so I decided to go on my phone account and get the contacts from there. My husband is the one who is in charge of paying for the phones, so I never look at the account. I went on his computer and he had the password and login automatically saved, so it was easy. I got all my numbers, but then I noticed that instead of just two lines on the account, there were three, and another phone was listed that neither of us had. Honestly, at the time, I thought nothing of it, and thought maybe it was a line to his grandmother, because she only has a landline, and she had mentioned a couple of times wanting to get a phone, and he just forgot to mention it. Cheating never even crossed my mind. I didn't even ask him about it and went on with my day. A few days later, I was hanging out with my best friend and she asked if I was able to get my information back. And I said, yeah, I just mentioned that I even found out his grandmother had a phone and he didn't tell me, but it wasn't a big deal. I don't know what made her ask, but she said, are you sure it's his grandmother's phone? And I said, pretty sure. She asked me to double check and I wasn't going to do it, but I was curious. I called his mom first to say hi and ask her about his grandmother and if she found the phone yet. And his mom said no, that she decided she didn't really need it. I waited for him to go to work the next day and I looked at the account again and went to the phone clicked view usage history and saw that the phone had only texted and called one number hundreds of times with the history going back five months. I also noticed that the times of the calls and texts were only the times when he was at work, never at home. When I saw this, I honestly tried to rationalize it because there is no way he would cheat on me. So I called my friend and told her what I saw, and she basically told me I needed to find the phone to confirm cheating first. I looked for it all over the house for days and couldn't find it. So I knew he must have it on him. I waited for him to go to sleep and searched his car, and I found the phone. His passcode was the same passcode on his regular phone, and I found everything, text messages, pictures of her, pictures of them together, them saying, I love you. She sent him a good morning video message every morning, and he has kept every one. I was heartbroken and cried the whole night. My friend told me to take the phone, turn all the location trackers off, and then turn it off. The morning he left, he was 30 minutes late to work because he was looking for it. But he couldn't ask me because he would have to reveal he had another phone. I kept asking him, what are you looking for? And he said, a file from work. He eventually left. I went to a park with my friend when he left and turned the phone on and put it on airplane mode and proceeded to go through everything. Our whole marriage is a lie. He has pretended that he cares about me, that he loves me, while building a relationship with this other woman who knows he is married. I can't even describe how I felt when I found everything out. I still haven't confronted him about it, and that's because I'm planning to leave in a few months. There is a benefit to being married to him that I would lose if I filed for divorce now but I won't need that benefit anymore in a couple of months. He knows something is up because I put the phone back four days later under the car seat, the same seat he checked more than a few times when he was looking for it. I even charged the phone back to the same percentage that I found it at. I got that idea from my friend. The day he found the phone, he came into the house and hovered over me the whole night and he was just 
really quiet. He hasn't asked me about it, and I think he knows I know. But asking would lead to more questions. These past three months, my behavior has changed, and we haven't been intimate since I found out. I have rejected every advance, and he is panicking to the point that when I checked the account in the first month, the third phone line had been removed. He also changed the password a few days later. He keeps asking me what's wrong, and I say nothing. He never goes anywhere now, and if he isn't at work, he is at home trying to spend time with me. He has recommended couples therapy because, in his words, something has changed. And I said we don't need it. To be honest, I am finding a weird joy in seeing him panic, because he ended our marriage, and I think he should suffer through worrying until I leave him. Edit. I have everything. My friend was able to show me how to get all the texts, video messages, pictures of them together. I only took the ones where they were not nude, because my friend that taking nude pictures of a person who hadn't given them to you could be an issue later. I also got the phone account usage before he blocked me out of the account. She is keeping everything for me. In fact, it was her idea. To let him panic, I also already had an STD test. I'm on his insurance, so I paid for it out of pocket, and I'm fine. Edit two. So I spontaneously decided to make this post earlier because I was home and thinking and going over what I have planned and my impending divorce. I ended up on the divorce subreddit, and then found the cake eaters subreddit. Which was not a good choice, because it made me so angry. Him cheating on me was, and I can't even find the words to describe how painful it is. In a way, me doing this to him is petty, but when I started this, it was the only way to make him hurt, like how he has hurt me. He absolutely destroyed me with this, and I have been, with help from my friend. Trying to heal slowly, I don't know if I ever will. I don't care if he finds this post on here, or other social media. He knows I know he cheated, or he wouldn't be trying to prove to me he is where he says he is all the time. I'm done, and thankfully I have a friend who is helping me through this, including looking for lawyers. He can be with whomever he wants. I don't care. The hurt is too much for me to even care about him again, to love him again. I'm only staying because I need something. I have a few more months left to go. I don't know if I will update, because I have a long road ahead of me. But thanks for the comments. Now for the top comments before the update. He knows you know. He's just too big of a coward to say it out loud. I hope you took pictures of everything. I'm sorry this happened. No one deserves to be betrayed this way. Your friend is the MVP. She has some skills. Yeah, torture your husband. Don't say anything. Keep refusing intimacy. Then one morning, while he is at work, have him served and ghost him. Tell him all contact will be through your lawyer, and blindside him like he did you. He doesn't deserve closure, or a chance to reply or make himself the victim. Just ghost him. That will hurt him more. The absolute best part of your plan is, given that you're taking a few months to put the hammer down, he's going to start relaxing about it all. Assuming because you've not said anything means you don't know anything. Then one day down the road, once you have your ducks in a row, he's going to be served with the divorce papers, literally out of the blue, and his world will come crashing down around him. Update: I'm not okay, but I'm alive. 
I have been getting messages on here and notifications through my email over the last several months, and I wanted to let you guys know that I'm alive. There are people who were very worried and have messaged me every single month to see if I'm all right. I'm sorry. I don't check this account honestly ever, but I wanted to provide a tiny update. I have been told to not say anything, so I won't, but I will say that I am currently going through the divorce process. It was started by me, and that's all I can say. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not okay at all. I can't provide reasoning why right now, but I'm not okay, and Reddit is not my therapist. So I am going to work on getting better and getting through this divorce. I am safe, though, and if I ever feel well enough and that I can talk about this coherently, then I will update. I don't want people waiting for an update that I might never be ready to give because I am actually going through this in my actual life. I know I'm the one that brought this to Reddit, so I know people are invested, but I can't right now. Basically, I just wanted people to know that I am safe, away from my hopefully soon-to-be ex-husband and have started the divorce process. If anyone has any tips, hobbies, etc. to get through this and it helped them, I would be open to them. I'm so sorry you're going through all this. While it may feel like your life is ruined, it is just starting anew. I am glad you are safe. Make sure you look into getting someone you can freely talk to, like a therapist, to help you grieve what you lost. You sound so defeated. It was a sad read, and I'm sure sadder to experience. You deserve better. Remember that. Don't let him have your confidence. He took enough from you already. I don't know how active you are, but bike clubs seem to be a good social hobby. If you want something more violent to release your anger, there is boxing. For something relaxing, for the artistically inclined, painting is a fairly inexpensive hobby. Then there's good old reading. I'm rooting for you, OP. I know it won't help while waiting in the swamp that is post-infidelity and divorce, but I need you to know how strong you are, how amazing you are, how much value you have, that people love you, and that while it's dark and gloomy now, it does get better. It takes time and grief and healing are brutal. But you've already proven you're a warrior. You've got this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.